And my supervisor, he done turned out to be a dirty bitch. So he's got to be dealt with because I don't appreciate a dirty bitch, right? And I haven't been feeling valued and appreciated. And I've been feeling so disrespected. And the fact that he is disrespecting me by upholding the hood rats and their misconduct is really done got me to the point where I really feel like I gotta I gotta regulate this situation even at the expense of possible retaliation and I would ordinarily say I ain't worried about that that supervisor because he's a sorry wide back bitch made ass nigga but you can't underestimate people right you cannot underestimate them and you don't know who they are affiliated with right and but I'm still not gonna be afraid I, I only have the fear of God okay I am not afraid of these niggas okay and God did not give me the spirit of fear. He gave me the spirit of power and a sound mind. And that's what I'm walking in. I'm walking in authority. Yes, God says I have the uh, the right to walk in authority. So that's what I'm doing. I'm exercising my authority. And, you know, he has been so disrespectful to me. And I just feel like I want to keep that same energy. So, you know that in that spirit... I've, I've asked the question, what do I have to lose by challenging his authority? Absolutely nothing. The only thing that he, he and the manager can do is fire me. And honey, in that sense, I'm, I, I lose nothing. I don't lose nothing because all I can do is go out there and get another job. And right now, as a lot of you know, the, 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 the field of employment is wide open right now. A lot of places are hiring. All across America. Not just here in this city. All over America. The, the field of unemployment is wide open. I can have my pick of where to go. You know what I mean? And most places are increasing the, the wages. So this is a beautiful beautiful time right now <clears throat> this is not the time to disrespect your employees and take them for granted but that's the mistake that my supervisor with his dumb fat wide back ass has done him and his uh, stupid ass manager and the manager yesterday when I called him he wouldn't even answer his phone oh he trying to get like the supervisor and then the supervisor don't want to answer his phone sometimes but then he get mad when I keep that same energy and I don't answer my phone oh he got a problem with me not answering my phone when he called me certain times even despite the fact that he don't pay the phone bill but he want to he want to dictate the terms and the conditions of my telephone how you going to do that how are you going to do that? How, that don't even go together. That don't even make sense. But you know a lot of these people that are operating in the spirit of nonsense, they don't care if it don't make no sense. Because they want to do what they want to do and they want you to do what they want you to do. <laughs> and even though they ain't paying you no bills, okay, they ain't paying none of your bills, but they want you to do what they want you to do. That ain't even gonna work, sir and ma'am. And so yesterday, yeah, the manager he didn't want to answer his phone when I called him. That's fine, fine, so, uh, manager. You ain't gotta answer my telephone, but you gonna answer somebody's telephone call when they call you, cause I'm getting I'm getting everything stirred up right now. Yeah, and I ain't gonna stop. Until I get good and satisfied, which is going to be a long time down the road. Yes, long after I leave that job, I'm still going to be stirring the pot. I ain't going to never, I ain't going to never take my foot off their neck and their back. After how disrespectful they have been to me. Oh, they go to AutoZone. Let me look at them right by looking all in my face. Because they got a problem with 
what I got rolled on the back of my vehicle. Ride the road, not my bumper. Yes, that's what I got back there, and that's what I mean. That's exactly what I got back there, and that's exactly what I mean. So let me get over here.